Hello, welcome to the Russian language video class. Now that you know how to read and write all the Russian letters, let us learn some basic Russian phrases which you will need in everyday conversation. We shall not cover any grammar in this lesson so that you just learn how, uh, so that you just obtain some basic communication skills in Russian. Uh, before we start, there is one thing that I want to tell you. There, you should remember that in Russian there are two manners of speech the formal and the informal. Uh, the, you, can, you use the formal or polite manner when addressing elders or people that you have never met before. And you use the familiar or, or friendly manner when addressing close friends or acquaintances or people of the same age. And you should always keep this in mind as we proceed uh, through this and the, and the following lessons. Uh, the first expressions that we are going to, to learn are greetings. The most common way to greet people in Russian is this word. First read it yourself and then repeat after me. Okay? No. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. You can hear a slight difference between what you can guess from the way it is written and what I have just pronounced. Uh, this letter is not pronounced because it would be quite difficult to pronounce all the letters in this word. Здравствуйте. Another word for saying hello is привет. Привет. It is much easier to pronounce, but it is uh, very informal, so you can only use it with your close friends. You can also use the names of part of the day to greet people. For example, in the morning you can say Доброе утро. Доброе утро. And to closer towards the towards the afternoon. Добрый день. Добрый день. And later in the evening. Добрый вечер. Добрый вечер. Okay. So it is also good to ask people how they are doing. And the most common phrases to do that are these two phrases. Okay, read them after me and uh, pay, pay attention to the translation. Как у вас дела? Как у вас дела? And the second one. Как поживаете? Как поживаете? These phrases are used in formal speech and the, the following two phrases are the same phrases but in the informal, uh, in, in the informal variant. Как у тебя дела? Как у тебя дела? Or you can omit this part and say just Как дела? Как дела? And the second one, как поживаешь? Как поживаешь? You will learn to tell the, dif the difference between the, the, uh, the forms a bit later. And now let's see what we can answer to such questions. Хорошо, спасибо. Хорошо, спасибо. Or, if you're not so sure, не очень хорошо. Не очень хорошо. And finally, which I hope you won't use too often, плохо. Плохо. Now, saying goodbye. The most common way to say goodbye in Russian is до свидания. До свидания. Although there are two words, one of them is, is a preposition. You read it as one word. До свидания. This is good for both formal, formal and informal situations. And there is one more word, пока, which is very informal. And you can only use it with, with people you know very well or if you he hear it first. So if someone says it to you first, then you can feel free to proceed in the same friendly manner. Or if you are sure that you are going to meet that person again, you can say до встречи. До встречи. Okay. Now, let us learn how to introduce yourself in Russian. Uh, let's say your name is Ivan, which is the most common, the most common name in Russian, like Jack in English. Меня зовут Иван. Меня зовут Иван. This phrase is grammatically quite unusual, so you just, at first you have just to memorize it the way it is. And if you want to ask your, your partner about their name, you can say, Как вас зовут? Как вас зовут? 
or the informal variant. Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? And here the main difference between formal and informal is in the uh, form of the preposition. Excuse me, in the form of the pronoun. Okay. And to finish the conversation, you can say очень приятно. Очень приятно. Or приятно познакомиться. Приятно познакомиться. Uh, finally, there are two words which you will probably use very often when speaking Russian. First of all, it, this is спасибо, which you already know from the previous lesson, and пожалуйста, пожалуйста, which is the Russian for please. And read it carefully, пожалуйста. If you read it fast, you will not pronounce these two letters, пожалуйста. And you can also use it as you're welcome. If someone says thank you to you, you, you should always reply пожалуйста. And two more very small but very important words, which are да, да, and no, no, which is нет, нет. Okay, this is it for today, and see you at the next lesson.